Thanks for clicking. Welcome back for some further insight and analysis, this time for the women's Olympic triathlon. If you watch this on Eurosport, the only thing you would have learned from the commentators is that you get jelly legs after the run, which won't even be true for athletes of this caliber. So let's hope you learn a bit more from this video. The start was pushed back by 15 minutes due to the rain. However, I'm convinced it was to give the boat a bit more time to get in the right position this time. Here you have the start positions on the pontoon with some notable athletes marked, concentrated on the right hand side. You have Katie Zafiris, who's been dominant in the sport over the past few years, up until very recently, where even her selection raised some eyebrows. There's a British trio of Learmonth and Taylor Brown, who won the test event here before being DQ'd for purposefully drawing, along with Vicky Holland, Rio bronze medalist. Nicholas Spirig, medalist at both previous Olympics, and then Flora Duffy, slightly further down, who's been consistently up there for the past five years as well. On the start line here, you can see Duffy positioned right next to Cassandra Beaugrand, and right from the off, you can see her immediately make her way over to the strong swimmers on the right-hand side, a move that proves key for the outcome of this race, which can be demonstrated by the ultimate time gap in the swim between Duffy and Beaugrand, who's not a bad swimmer herself. Learmonth at the front sets a very hard pace from the off and strings out the field almost into single file. We're not even eight minutes in and you see a gap of clear water opening up between the front seven and the rest. A great swim from Duffy means she comes out of the water just at the back of that lead pack. And you can see the effect that has as Emma Jeffcoat, who just misses that group, goes from 19 seconds behind after the first swim lap to 42 seconds coming into transition one, just 500 meters of swimming later. Onto the bike and the front pack of Learmonth, Taylor Brown, Zafiras, Duffy, Lopez, Rappaport and Linderman work well together to maintain their gap out of the swim. Ultimately, I think there are three reasons why this break managed to stay away, but the break in the men's race didn't. One, the lead pack here actually managed to put some clear water between themselves and the rest in the swim. Two, the wet weather definitely played its part with a couple of crashes, a more cautious cornering in the large pack slowed down the chase. And three, this group contained some of the fastest cyclists in the field with Zafira's Duffy and the two Brits particularly doing their fair share on the front. And these four certainly reap the rewards of that work. They grow their lead out to just over a minute despite Spearig and Kingma chasing them down from a thinned out chase pack. That is until Taylor Brown punctures around 2K from the finish. You can see her here just behind Duffy looking down and stop pedaling up a short rise. And from this point on, she's completely hexagon in corners just to get by. She does phenomenally well though to hold it together and only lose 20 seconds to the leaders. Through transition two and Learmonth shows Morgan Pearson exactly how the transitions are done. And Flora Duffy immediately goes on the front signaling things to come. As with the men's, you have the leader wearing the ASICS meta speeds again, and you can see Taylor Brown slowly coming back into the medals in the distance here. Taylor Brown times her overtake of Zafira's very well here. She didn't rush to get back into position, but slowly clawed back the time gradually. I would have liked to have seen Taylor Brown come into T2 with Duffy, however, I don't think it would have made much difference in the end. Duffy ultimately runs the fastest 10K of the day, clocking a 33 minute split, whereas Taylor Brown was almost a minute slower. Let me know what you think in the comments below though. Duffy comes into a well-deserved gold as Taylor Brown and Zafira is round out the podium. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and watching my analysis of the men's race yesterday.